will be the Swiss. To get his 19th US Open campaign underway. over Tatsuma Ito, six and two. Peter Polanski, five and six. And one in the last round of qualities, as we mentioned, from the, the perilous position down a set and three love. He came through to beat Jao Menezes of Brazil, six, three in the third. Yeah, in one stage it was four, one. So he's done really well to come back there. The irony about that, Nick, that he lost to the Brazilian on clay, thinking he'd have a better chance against him. And it's... <laughs> nice. It's on the hot courts where he's actually got the win. And there's uh, 30, his 50. Brazilian opponent, and he got time to get it. He's played some 16 events this year as the goal. The vast majority of those playing on the dirt. A surface that he openly suggests he prefers, more comfortable on the clay so far. And we were talking about the fact that he came here really just because, you know, he enjoyed the first round prize money, $11,000 in qualifying if you lose first round. Goes up to 18 if you lose second and 32 if you lose final on qualifying. We know what it's like playing on those lower levels. You know, an $11,000 check for showing up and playing qualifying is something not to be sniffed at. Different ball game altogether now that he's in the main draw. He's had some injuries as well in the last couple of seasons. He's been nursing a shoulder problem that has simply hampered his progress. This is a nice early settler, isn't it? Get into the Federal Service game. Experiment uh, coming along in this match. Work on this transition game. Saw him do it a little bit in his opening match in Cincinnati. Yeah, and a four eight forwards. See us the opening service game. First game. Swiss. Of course, Roger's story and how he got into tennis is well documented. Uh, Sumit Nagal, well, what a path he took. He was a young Indian boy who wanted to be a cricket player and wanted to be an opening bowler for India. That was Sumit his aspiration until one day the bus that was supposed to pick him up after practice didn't come by. And his father started to worry about where he was and uh, this young man wandered home many hours later almost midnight and his dad said that's it cricket is done you're not playing any more cricket which is a big thing to tell a young indian boy <laughs> <laughs> too true nick too true and then his dad said you can take up tennis i can see the tennis Love courts cooking. just outside a window over here i can keep an eye on you and make sure that you're, you're safe and well and of course, as uh, luck would have it, former Indian greater Mahesh Bhupati had just started a program 
trying to identify tennis talent in India, and it happened to be right near where this guy's from. Love 30. Identified the great athleticism, had a good arm, good athlete. Fast tracked him in the program. And already as a 13 year old started showing uh, great results at Eddie Hur and Orange Bowl. Comes from uh, very humble beginnings. You know, I think I'm running second these days based in Germany, Rob. Is that correct? That's right. It's been his, uh, time with the session Nens, who's coach, I don't even think is here. Hey! To one of the coaches that was very instrumental hey, in his. Hey. Formative years is here. We we'll see Bobby Mahal sitting in his uh, box. Of course, Bobby actually works with Adriano Fubariva in Canada. They've got their own tennis setup there. Of course, Adriano very instrumental in coaching Dennis Shapovalov through those developmental years, 11 to 16, 17. Take the ball quite as early as Roger Federer does it, quite as consistently. And there is a, a little early taste of what might be to come this evening. Interesting, isn't it? When you talk to a lot of players about facing Federer for the first time and having the discussion of what it feels like. It's often the one thing that comes up, isn't it? That's how early Roger takes the ball. Mm -hmm. Takes your time away. You get no real time to settle on the ball. It's a nightmare, and uh, when you play against somebody who takes the ball early, there were some funny words that I listened to in a podcast. My uh, Andre Medvedev, also a former Ukrainian player, former French Open finalist. See, when you play somebody takes the ball early, and of course he had a couple of battles against uh, Agassi, remember he lost him in that French Open final. So when you play against somebody early, it's like taking dictation from someone who talks very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was uh, a really good description. up two chances to break straight back.
but a double fall gets the break back. And the Indian is up and running here. They're on serve in these early stages. 2-1. So back to back breaks. Nagal serving 1 2. Oh! Love 15. One of the toughest things when you're moving from the challenger level to the tour level is the fact that you. If you're hitting your first serve at 105 miles an hour, you're not going to get many cheap points. unfolds how when Nagal is serving he starts close to the baseline but as the rally gets longer and longer Federer just bullies him pushes him further and further back Roger takes control of his baseline and uh, Nagal is defending And the white hats, long time physio, America. Okay. Well, certainly speaking very you. positively coming into this tournament, which is something that uh, we've got fairly used to with him over the years. Saying it's the best he's felt coming into the US Open in a number of years physically. Ago in uh, Cincinnati. Oh, that's good stuff. Got the length. Fourteen thirty. Was Rublev good that day, or was Roger a little off? Bit of both. Rublev really played really well. Courts were a little quicker in Cincinnati. Conditions were quick. Federer said he struggled adapting to them. Remember, Rublev had come through qualifying next, so he had a few matches under his belt. It's always dangerous. As you reminded me, it was an alternate in qualifying. He shouldn't even be in there. An excellent couple of games for the 22 year old Indian. Two gets up. And he'll feel a little bit more comfortable now. USOpen.org is the place to head to. If you're home for point by point live scoring, highlights, real time stats, draws. Visit the official tournament site, usopen.org. Yeah, they're well stocked. I had a good look at the unit close to all the soft. Did you? Very well stocked on those shirts, I can tell you. Nice. Shirt to be placed tennis like this, I can tell you. Great net coverage, sharp as a tech. Mm. 
Thirty seven percent to Jimmy. Thirty eight percent so far for the Swiss. Thirty fifteen is a failing grade. Number needs to improve quickly. Titles this season for the Swiss in Dubai. Of course, where he passed the 100 mark. Special occasion there in February for him. <laughs> to Miami and Halle. Enjoyed so much success. Pretty well there. Throughout the course of his career, it's been a cornerstone of it. Very rarely over 125 miles an hour. It's always between 119 and 125. At 123. But the yeah, accuracy better. is extraordinary. Federer with the lead again. 3-2. Federer leads 3-2. Years since he won here. Oh, two, three on serve in this opening set. As round one action continues here in New York. Fifty bucks. I mentioned that Nagal. Uh, was a beneficiary of uh, the Foundation for Indian Sporting Talent. Started by Mahesh Bhupati. That's where the initial recognition of this young man came from. pressure on the server and then coming to the net I mean that would be floating relatively deep maybe allow Nagal to get back in the point but of course with Federer coming in it's an easy put away and uh, Roger hasn't been shown coming forward Nick nope. <laughs> Sometimes that actually can be a little more tricky to return, can't it? Mm. Especially when using the slice, you've not got much pace to work with. The lines person there, I think, initially overruling before Ali Ali stepped in. Two combination. There's the one, and here's a very sweet two. The former coach Stefan Edberg would have enjoyed that volley. That was a right out of the, the Swedes' top draw. Lovely little sneak yeah, forward, just putting pressure on the slice. 
Motion Federer to add a bit of direction to it, and he was caught over pressing. Talking about qualifying prize money. Of course, if Nagal will come off second best here, he would uh, console himself with $58,000. Well, losing in the first round. Should he win, that would go up to 100000 for winning a match here. Love 15. So just for a bit of reference, Sufi Nagal's career prize money to this point. Mm -hmm. Career, right? Totals $153,000. Three years plus as a professional. Not sure that would cover that ring of mirrors that we just saw there in the <laughs> shot. It's outstanding. It's cool. Federer going the wrong way. 15-30. Because the ball goes into the crowd here and the States get to keep it. the players suggesting it they've quickened it up a little bit this year it's a little slicker than it was 12 months ago it's the directive anyway Turn, but suddenly Gal's finding having no time at all to recover his position. Yeah, be pleased with the progress he's made here in this opening set. He's keeping pace, going along well. 4-3. players making their debut here in the main draw. Sylvain Nagar and a promising start. is Rob between the challenger tour in terms of the level I mean we obviously it's very individual but where, where does the big step up come I'm not necessarily talking about playing Roger because he's exceptional but yes in terms of an everyday challenger player to an everyday tour level player where are the, where do the real differences come I think it, 30, 50, having a weapon generally is what gets you out of the challenger level so many guys are such good ball strikers and good athletes at the challenger level, but perhaps lack that major weapon, and I think Nagal would be a good example of that. It's probably one of the biggest serves we've seen from him, and it's just clicked 110, you know, on tour. 118, 120, and that extra 10 miles an hour is, is huge. Gives you a few more free points on serve. You've got to remember the margins 
between winning and losing are so small in our sport. Remuneration's got more significant, isn't it? Prize money's increased. They're looking after those players mm. a little more. Physios. Hospitality as well thrown in there so you don't have to play for your hotel yep. anymore. Second tier, if we can call it that, of professional tennis has been given a, a little more of a, a helping hand in the last 12 months. to the two level, the intensity of the points uh, it goes up a notch. That's when you realize you've got to invest more time and money in that part of your game. serve but it hasn't found its mark Nick and he's only won four of 15 no. points Federer behind his second and the goal has got three chances to break He's just got to stay in. He's got to make Federer hit a winner. Moves well enough to have made that shot. It's an untidy game. And it's been a sloppy start, really, from Federer's perspective. And the Indian has got the break and will serve here for set number one. Submit Nagal to serve for this opening set. Kept things nice and tight so far. Federer's game has been a little off. Indian. Trying to close out this opening set at 5 4. First point of serve is so important. Now suddenly. Holding serve to win the opening set feels a million miles away when you're playing against a quality opposition like Federer. It stays low. It's hard to do anything meaningful with it. Sixteen and 
reinforced errors coming off Federer's racket. that way. He hasn't had too many matches as you so rightly said, only two since Wimbledon. isn't he? What an all-time great he was. I noticed there how quickly you were to pick up on the cricketing conversation, Nick. It's a little lost over here in the States, doesn't it, when you start talking about cricket? The good thing is uh, this is going to global audience. <laughs> good one for your boys two days ago. Very good one. There you go. This man continues to make life difficult. A fine return at the feet of Federer. Sturdy all. said it was one of the two best wins he thinks he's ever had. It's almost like he's rubbing salt in the wounds. I mean, we're six weeks on, aren't we? So, uh, you know, he's, he's talking about mental scarring, 
getting over the scarring or I mean he must have you know he's been so good at moving on in his career isn't he mm -hmm. from defeat so good he's had a lot of tough defeats over the years as well aside from all the winning he's done and he's been able to put it behind him That's concerning me. Number is growing at a fairly alarming rate right now. Sticky service game. And certainly not playing with a whole lot of fluidity First right now, but it's up and running here in the second. Of course, to become the oldest men's Grand Slam singles champion at 38 years of age. Coming in here this year, just turned 38 a couple of weeks ago. since he won here, Federer. Last victory coming in final in 2008. Net for service. It's hard to believe it's been that long. Wins in a row, of course, 40 matches in a row, as Robbie was touching on earlier on. Over the 
will turn, but it's more to the four and is looking vulnerable. Thirteen wins, in fact, behind Jimmy Connors is Federer in terms of all-time wins here at the U.S. Open. Connors had 85. something a little too short. Having a look back at when the Dolls run here at the US Open came to an end. Of course, it was in the finals the following year against Juan Martin del Potro, wasn't it? Had all kinds of chances in that match. Should have won it in straight sets, virtually. It was better as run. Yes. against Djokovic when he had two match points. And of course, what happens in 2011? Same story all over again. He's one of India's finest. Rohan Bopana. It's a good coffee, doesn't he, Rohan, these days? Very good coffee, of course. Guys sitting in his box. Great ground reaction force with the legs. Look how high off the ground he is, transferring that energy through the coordination chain beautifully. Wonderful camera shot that was of the amount of effort that goes into a shot. It all happens so quickly you don't realize it. Chase review. Confirms the ball did just miss its mark. Intended mark anyway. Uh, 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 Exceptionally uh, early, but didn't need to play it. And he's got a second look at a break point in this game. This is where you, you want a slightly bigger serve so you can get the free point to get you out of trouble or, or two in a row. To hold serve. Ah! He used to play the big points well, doesn't he? He's, I think Federer kind of shoot himself in the foot here consistently. 
his numbers again. Getting very little away. And that's what I'm talking about. Recently broke into the top 200 for the very first time, did Nagar. That was back in late July. He's in a career high coming into this week. Federer camp at the moment for Severin and Ivan. Oh, that's so good. The fact that Boyan initially just getting Federer a little off balance and the one at the line was struck very purely indeed. Those were two forehands of rich quality. That one, a blazing vector. Stand and deliver. He's made it. And he had to use the full width of the court to get a by a goal. He's put the first volley here within an inch of the baseline and still come up with no change. I would have put that away, he said. But Broman's been playing a lot with Denis Shapovalov, was not he, in recent weeks? Mm -hmm. Good uh, couple of tournaments. All got good hands, uh, the Indian tennis players. Yeah, yeah. The, speaking of Mahesh, Bupati a little earlier, Leander Pace, how good were his volleys? Still are. Mm. It's Leander's 44 now, still grinding his way out there. Playing a fair few challenges this year. Incredible stuff. Yeah, Ramesh Krishnan. Jay Arbitraj going a little further back. Let's not forget about him. The third double fall. The qualifier, but Federer with a third chance. Jump out to an early lead here in this second set. Back to back doubles. A game that was over 10 minutes in duration. Federer able to grab the break to lead too low. And he was pounding on the Indian's door, finally able to break through, but I think it must be said that it was because of Nagal's own undoing rather than Federer actually playing a winning point in order to break. Oh! against LH was at the French Open 61 straight wins in his opening round of majors since then I like that stew for 30, a little bit. let us know send us a 
Detroit. This time Federer lost his first round at a major. Get in touch if you know. Of course, you only get a shout out if you remember the at US Open. 14, 15. from Federer in that game. And an encouraging sign, Federer just a few more for the Swiss. Who has a three love lead in the second here. A look inside the Athrash Stadium. Of course it holds 20,000 people plus this most magnificent of arenas. Busy week here last week around the grounds as well with the fan week that took place. People coming through the gates to watch the qualifying. Some good entertainment laid on as well. I couldn't think we had any 80s bands, did we, Rob? No, could have cracked the nod. Probably so, well, was Pat Galbraith about that. It He's uh, <laughs> my era. So. The new president, of course, used to play doubles against uh, Galbraith back in back in the day. Ah! The UCLA Bruins point, if uh, memory serves, was uh, that Galbraith sneaky lefty, cut from the same cloth as David McPherson. Okay. Of course, Pat took over from Katrina Adams, who mm -hmm. served two terms, didn't she, yes, Katrina? I think the first USTA president to ever to do so. Certainly in recent times. No, that's more like it from Roger. 15, things up a little bit, isn't he, in the last few minutes? Just a little too central. Federer getting his feet around it and really stepping on it. As he opens up more chances to break here. Just seething there, that look of how oh, can I miss that on a break point? That's very nice. Game feather. Wasn't working with a whole lot, the volley was central. And that's a fine some work from somewhere. And Federer delivered it beautifully. Better leads for him for love. So about that uh, first round defeat. As we check in on US Open Dolog again, a reminder the official shop for the 2019 merchandise, remember. It's a USOpen.org. 
lost that first round. But last time on Federer lost in the first round of a major. You gave us a clue. Remind us. It was against Luis Horner of uh, Peru. Two thousand and three French Open. Luis is still dining out on that result. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be? Of course, just four weeks later, Federer went on to win a Wimbledon for the first time. Oh. of being level here, five love. Ago, talking about the differences really between these three or four players that have been so dominant over the last decade, perhaps going back to his time in the 90s. It was really underlining just more than anything else the consistency of these guys. I'm not really necessarily talking about the majors, more. second round of a, an event every now and again it would just happen but he said with these elite players in the last 15 years they have just been so consistent wherever whenever and pretty much wherever they've chosen to play just their number of victories at masters 1000 level has been breaking records mm -hmm. continue to I'm sure when Sampras won his final major right here, let's not forget that he probably thought that 14, that was a record that was going to stand for a while. to finish from the summit. It's all about the footwork, beautiful open stance technique. open and of course the next generation of players you have three of them who surpass his record so finally getting a minute for the job alongside his name
course, you've got to go back to Marin Cilic, haven't you, for the last time we had a, a new a, brand, a new major winner. The last time it occurred. Longest gap for some years now. Just ball. Yeah, a walk. Fifty knots. Good two shot combination. It wasn't a bad pickup from Federer. Set, his first really struggling in the early stages, but up around the 70 percent mark in this set. Help! Just taking a bit of pace out of that one, getting a little bit of kick. Yeah, I think in cricketing terms, that would have been the googly. The set points for the Swiss. That was an ambitious shot to take that on. You know, the ball was always kind of chasing him. He never really seemed to be behind it. Thank you. 
Bella's ranking live ranking at 175. The results of his efforts here qualifying, so a rise of 15 spots. He does end up losing today. forehand in action. It's been a little up and down though this evening, it must be said. Still can't get over the line. Still can't shut the gates on the second set. You see those patches that he's wearing there? Uh, so a little bit of extra money that uh, the lower ranked players will make who don't have patch deals. Uh, so two companies, you'll often see them at the majors. Probably get a couple of thousand dollars for each of those. We'll uh, negotiate. two brands is they might have signed for an hour and 17 minutes of uh, publicity might they? they're going to get a whole lot more oh that is an oil painting of a backhand right there yes. yeah, i was actually talking about that with my buddy last week steve king and if you were a good agent you negotiate a fee but everything over 90 minutes say it's, a, it's an additional amount of cash you make. Certainly going to get that handsome. We've had a couple of very long games towards the sharp end of the second set. But Federer for a seventh time with a chance to shut the gates. Scrappy, uh, the Swiss is level at a set apiece. Can this man keep his level where it has been for the opening hour and 20 minutes or so? It's been impressive from Nagal. And we'll start this third set. Love 15. To follow up on the discussion we were having at the towards the end of that second set, it's been 19 majors now since we've had a new major champion. That's the longest it's ever been in men's tennis without having a new name win a major. Ah! A new blood coming through, isn't there? It is an exciting time watching these youngsters 
push up the rankings. Tsitsipas obviously has probably been the marquee name outside of Zverev. We've seen Felix Auger, Ali Asim. Some good tennis. Daniel Medvedev obviously yes, springs to mind. Of course. Karen Hashinov. Mm -hmm. The Russians are coming. Nods of the head. What was a dangerous approach just inside in the forehand, but Federer understands the pattern of play. The cross court pass is the one he needs to look for. Yeah, and a break to life. An ominous start to this First third game, set. Third set. Oh, the Swiss. How much for that? group of players that we've just mentioned Rob is it about getting experience more experience on these sorts of courts do you think if they are going to challenge going forwards well, very important we know that Sasha Zverev who burst onto the scene on three masters 1000 titles at such a young age we all thought he was going to kick on but you know just two quarterfinals at the majors that's it Daniel Medvedev yet to make Go beyond the last 16 of a major. Mm -hmm. Karen Hashinov, I think, just a couple of quarterfinals. Stefano Sitsabas being the player I mentioned initially, of course, who made the semis down under, didn't he? Fifteen love. How much of it is physical, do you think, in terms of him obviously being young, low, early 20s? Is it going to come in a couple of years when they are stronger? You forget that cast like Nadal and Djokovic are the exception. Oh! The net court there could have made things complicated. Roger watched it carefully. I think it was only 21 when he won his first major. Really Mark Philippus at Wimbledon. I think a fair few people forget that. I was having a chat with Ryan Harrison a couple of hours ago. And he was talking about time he spent with Djokovic and how unbelievably dedicated he was in terms of the physical side of the sport. Attention to detail he had and sort of looking after himself and obviously that's been very clear, that's been very obvious to see. I mean someone as good as Andy Murray took a couple of bites at the cherry right four finals before he eventually won. we were expecting a lot from him and I think he could have been a, a real thorn in the side of the big three had he not got injured so often I think he was the one player that has believed that he could beat them Keeps moving, follows the line of the ball. It controls the racket hit at the end of his range.
Christina. Big picture discussion in terms of where the men's game is. Something that seems to have been the case certainly at the majors is how far ahead these big three are mm -hmm. still. Yes. And, and is that, you know, at what point is that gap going to close? Because, we, as you say, Zverev has done well at Masters 1000. Daniel Medvedev just won a Masters 1000. Karen Hatchinov has. But at the majors, it's a different level, isn't it? Yeah, tougher to beat these guys. Three out of five sets, Nick. You can play well for, for two sets, but that's not enough. You should get the win at two level, but not here. And you, you throw in mental end. three out of five sets the belief you know mental fortitude that is required to compete so well and so long against these guys it's it just takes so much out of you yeah, yeah, I got it. so the indians on the ball here in the three. third set but it's up against it down a break two one Well, one additional incentive for Federer this evening. If he wins, he will also secure his place. So 2021. Is Federer going to be in Turin when we move there? Any one of his assistants and teammates is from Turin and supports Juventus. Yes, Alessandro. Yep, so I'm sure Alessandro will be begging him to stick around. Maybe we can uh, parade him. Well, if he does win tonight, it'll be 17, a 17th career qualification for London. Probably going to say no. Okay. Reminder, usopen.org. Download the app for all the latest scores, stats, match highlights, player news, celebrity sightings and more. Available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. Plenty of good matches and good stories today as well. Already unfolded on day one. Now we saw Alec Baldwin doing uh, the coin toss for this match. Courts on speaking of celebrities. It's a feather of A couple of good movies, didn't he? 
second for the Red October. I don't know if you remember that one. Enjoy that one, Nick. The departed. himself in as good a shape as he is Robert 37 what are the secrets to him being out here still at this age aside from the desire which we know is still there oh, he's physical mm. what does he do physically I tell you what that is locked up that information in a Swiss vault <laughs> it's quite a way down as well yeah, is it, it is. <laughs> and the guy who guards it is a Pier Paganini and uh, he's the only guy who's got the key really does keep us uh, training regime mm, close closely guarded I should say the way did from that was that a lot of the sessions that he does involve fitness and playing points at the same time so a couple of jumps over a hurdle left sprint right sprint say and then boom he'll start a point against whoever he's practicing with. So he's always trying to fatigue himself, do some explosive movement, incorporate that with points. Yeah, I got to have a good chat with Colin Beecher a couple of months ago, and uh, he was with Dan Evans when Dan was invited over to train with Federer just before the clay court season. Colin was saying that everything, certainly a large majority of the training they did for three or four days there was drills into points orientated so they would you know, it's kind of set up a little drill but it would always have a, a point ending so it would have something on it be a couple of cross courts and then the one up the line would open the points up they would play it out from there and to have a bit of an edge to it from a, a competitive perspective <laughs> The desire and the drive is most certainly still there for Federer, which is good news for everybody. Not such good news for Simon Nagal, though. It's 4 1 for the Swiss double break. Against the challenger player, it's uh, not the case. You might get away with a few more enforced errors. as well in terms of uh, this section of course Djokovic for Brinker in the mix and this one will take off damage Jumeau Dan Evans had a good win today and he's in Federer's little quarter Medvedev also in this section so some informed players He's standing in Federer's way of a good run. Love 
15. A couple of early strike with that sort of depth. It makes for a heady cocktail, those two. Second serve. Yeah, and he's done with his tally here in this third set. As the Indian Federal serve for a two sets to one lead here on the opening night at Arthur Ashe. Yeah, yeah, the Swiss looking to serve out this third set. Five two. Fifty five. out of Germany is good competition isn't it a good structure over there club structure this is a, a nice slick trick with his stick not the first time we've seen that from Federer Breaks early in sets two and three have certainly enabled him to play with a little more freedom.
of that. He's a thing of beauty. Roger in full flow. shouldn't be forgotten that the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds, go back to the USTA to reinvest in the game in the States. So early stages of this fourth set. Pretty swiftly. Sets two and three. Nagal hoping to avoid a similar fate here in the fourth. Oh, that was some magic. 15 30. cross court. How much whip did he get on as well? Mm. So easy to panic and play that shot. his conversion rate puts himself with another break point yes. Circuit a fair bit earlier on. There was a fairly big name playing the challenger in Madrid and uh, Mallorca today, wasn't there? Yeah, so Andy Murray. Ah! Ah! Champion of this event, making his return to that level of tennis today in uh, Balearic Islands. Of course, that event is actually being played at the Rafael Nadal Academy. Manacor. One of Uncle Tony's tournament director. Murray <laughs> <laughs> returning with a win. Plan for Andy, I'm told, is to play three successive weeks of challenges. It's the provisional schedule, I'm led to believe. Or heading to Asia, where he's got a couple of tour level event wild cards. Ah! 
Jane Feller. The forehand just a little too deep. And First Feller game, is able sets. to strike once again, nice and early at the start of this set. The thoughts on Andy Murray's couple of weeks, Robert, you were in Cincinnati, you saw him play there at Winston-Salem. Did you see some good things from him? Yeah, I didn't see any of uh, Winston-Salem. But uh, plenty of work to be done, certainly after this match in Cincinnati. Against Gasquet, did such a good job of moving him around. But I think this is a, a wise move from Murray. Just to get used to playing a few more matches in a row. And your body reacts differently under the stress of pressure than you know, what it does when you're training hard away from the match court. You can do as much tough training as you want. So it fatigues you in a different way when you're out there on the match court. Love it. Initially, of course, when he turned up in Cincinnati, he said the plan was to come here and play doubles, but that plan changed to that week in Cincinnati. It's one of the time is right to Love the double singles court. And this would be first prize for Nagal. Fifteen thirty. feet inside the baseline wasn't a bad return but he barely able to recover his position before the ball's by him again yes. Decides to change things up. 
21 shots later, he delivers the final blow. Game feather. So Federer moves it a two lap here in this fourth set. Federer leads two to four. A little bit of uh, experimentation in these uh, next couple of games. Fifteen miles. Serving. Trying to get himself on the board in this fourth set. Back to the challenger circuit after this, trying to continue to build on this progress he's made in the last few months. I have a feeling he's going to have a bit more belief about his tennis than he did at the start of the season. Let's not forget he was outside the top 300 at the start of the year. Yeah, this uh, additional money that he's going to make, help him to invest more on himself. And hopefully, and potential sponsors back in India. It's not going on nine o'clock in the morning in Delhi. All of India will be uh, waking up to this match. And, uh, he's done himself and his nation proud so far. We're serving 2-1. for the, the foreign return. His frustration comes from. like this are worth the admission fee on their own. Thank you. 
for a relatively big second serve. We're going to catch the Indian out by going to the forehand wing and just overdoing it. of his former coach and Stefan Edberg there. Exactly the same pattern of play with the backhand return cross court. He would hit it back to the returner's corner. Make him turn around on himself. Not give him the running pass. His break point save numbers this season are very impressive. A little look this morning. And he'd like to do another, save another one here. He's actually at 73% on the season of Federer breakpoint save, which is his best number of his career in terms of a single season. Of course, we're not done just yet, but he's been able to win a lot of these big points. Not there. Yeah, he got it. was waiting for the one back behind on that occasion. And he's found the space for an impressive pass. Do you get some? Wasn't it just? A reminder, usopen.org. Stay connected to the Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Join the conversation with hashtag usopen.org. It looked like a bad miss, but it was still some defensive lob from Federer on the stretch. I'm going to get some good height to it. You've had a good look for two hours and nine minutes now. You like his game. Where's he got to? Where's he got to improve further? Do you think in his game to move up the rankings? For me, the most important shot needs to be the serve. That's where he needs to get a few more free points off of. Again, it's not easy when you're barely six foot. Strengthen the legs. Love 40. As this match has gone on, Federer has certainly looked to jump on top of that second serve. This set has only won two of eight. Match as a whole is just around the 40% mark now. And those numbers perhaps skewed because the first set was pretty good for Nagal in those numbers sets two and three very one-sided now oh, he defines the odds on that occasion 15 40.
serve and the Swiss with the lead again for two. So the break once again for the Swiss in this fourth set. 59. Roger Federer looking to put the seal on things here. I think really because if you look at his potential second round opponent in damage room, they're not too dissimilar, is he, to the way Nagal plays? He's quick. Slight step up, but yeah, a bit more variety on the back end. Mm -hmm. And what probably argues Foyne's a little better. Serve a sneaky good, he's got that low ball toss. to Roger, and Forster comes back. Game Federer. He pulled the pace out of that serve and got the desired result. Federer is able to build on the break this time around. Federer leads four games, 2-2. down the line. It's so difficult to hit a running pass with a single-handed back end. Forehand is so much easier. Fifteen. To keep Federer off balance in that exchange, allowing the Swiss. Too much time on the ball. you spend on the court against a player like Federer. Just gives you more feedback about your game. It just helps to grow that experience pool. of what we've seen so far that today we might be seeing a little more of it for three coming to the end of day one here of the US Open Roger Federer a couple of games away he's so on it 
short ball, isn't it? 15 left. It was a shaky first set, wasn't it? But it's been an upward trend since then. That's more like it starting to dial in the forehand on a regular go. basis. And the opening set, that thing had all the control of an unattended garden hose. He was spraying it everywhere. 49. Team for a while now. Oh, what a brilliant half! Yeah, he's able to keep the ball so low. I thought it was an excellent return. And the Swiss moves to within the game of round number two. That return. I mean, what he's able to do with his record. Love 15. An outstanding return from Federer. Three points away. There's the Swiss. He said he felt positive coming into this US Open. He wouldn't have felt particularly positive after that opening half an hour, but things have been a little smoother since. Thirty fifteen. Summit. Nagal, plenty of credit for his performance this evening, his attitude, and the way he came out in the opening set, especially went toe to toe with Federer, didn't back down. Federer, they will serve a victory at 5 4. Well, if you hadn't followed the qualifying and you took a, a quick look down the draw of the men's draw, you might have done a double take. Uh, the third digit was a G rather than a D. Which is good news for Federer fans. Well, from what we've Love seen of this Indian, he's been impressive. Yes. 
And your Federer fans are really tweeting us saying, look what happened the last five or six times they've played, Nick. Too true. <laughs> They've been one match away from playing one another. See the move in, suddenly he had to readjust, yes. and then suddenly, having had three break points, they're snuffed out in an instant. And it's a copy and paste on the outside again. Almost at the identical spot. Too cute with the angle. Maybe he should have gone T. That's a very aggressive second serve from Federer. See Novak hit that particular second serve, break point down, goes for the slightly bigger one down the middle. Advantage it's been two and a half hours. Last match of the day here on Ash and Federer has reached match point. The US Open for a sixth time is up and running. And it wasn't without its bumps. The Indian qualifier Sumit Nagal produced some good tennis throughout. But ultimately the Swiss lose through in four close sets. 